Look, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know how to start this video. I've been working on this project for so long and so much work has gone into it that I just don't even know where to start. Combat Casino was and is a free-to-play mobile game with a PC port downloadable on Steam and Itch.io. Until recently, it was entirely made in Java with libgdx by someone who didn't even know how to make a state machine. Seriously, I programmed the entire thing using only a handful of my own classes with a nums for the data. Horrible. The fight screen was a single giant mono class with a dozen bool loops and different kinds of locks. Terrible, wouldn't recommend it. Everything else was done on the main thread with frame delays and a lot of trial and error. Don't do that either. Use all the tools in the box, kids. Now, I still use a lot of trial and error in my work, but these days I like to use Unity to speed up the process. Now I just have to wait 15 to 30 seconds for Unity to recompile because I changed the name of a single variable. So that was how it used to be, but how is it now? Well, I'm quite proud to say that I've remade it completely from the ground up in three months. Introducing Combat Casino New Management. Three months may seem like a long time, but the original Combat Casino took me nine months and was way less impressive. Not to mention that it was never fun even once. However, there is an asterisk to this accomplishment. There's very little content in Combat Casino New Management, and it's not even close to done. Before I let any of you get your hands on it, I need to flesh it out a little more. As you can see here, I have a lot of stuff left to do, and this is just the stuff that I'm consciously thinking of. And since taking this photo, I've actually added more to it. So this video is more of a devlog rather than a showcase or trailer. Looking back on the first version of my game, I gotta say that I am proud of myself for making it. It taught me how to put an app on the Play Store, and how to use someone else's API, and how Steamworks, uh, works. Plus the dozens of other things like Gradle that you have to learn along the way. Now I can appreciate how Unity simplifies all of that, almost to the point where you don't even really need to know how it works. Looking at you, key stores. Originally, I went into this project with the idea that I would simply get the basics of it working, and then make a quick video about it and move on. Well, uh, I didn't do that. I actually nearly completely remade the game from the ground up. In the middle of this project, I took two weeks off and made Mega Chickens, though, so that was a nice break. Alright, well, where do we go from here? I still have a lot of work left to do. I feel like maybe I'm starting to struggle with motivation and keeping the train rolling. I'm hoping that this video will give me a second wind and I can push through and complete the game. This is turning out to be exactly as much work as I thought it would be, which is to say, a lot. I made a lot of progress in a short amount of time thanks to all the support I have from my patrons, channel members, and Discord community, the latter of whom continue to impress me with all their mods, models, drawings, and art in general. Alright, editor, throw up that picture of the cork board again and let's go over a few things I need to do so the people at home can get a feel for it. The corkboard utilizes a priority ranking system that I arbitrarily change at my whim based on the needs of the board at the time. Generally speaking, the top left is highest priority. The lower on the board, the less time spent thinking about it every day. Each note card is a screen or system in the game, and each paper scrap clipped to it represents an idea. As the ideas get done, they get removed from the card. As the cards become more and more empty, they move down the board. Starting with the fight system. Right now, every fight is composed of three enemies. It should be simple enough, but I need to ensure that the fights don't break if there are less than three enemies. I'd like to also implement an overheal system where using healing abilities can temporarily boost the user's health over their max health. This overhealth would slowly diminish at the end of each turn until it's gone, or until it's removed. And there's more on this card, but I think we should move on for now. Next up, the equipment system. Right now, this screen is... Not great. It's serviceable, but it could be better. I need to implement a better way to present the equipment to the player, as well as a sorting system like I have on the shredding screen. I have a vague idea of what I want this to look like, but it needs more refinement. Since we've been talking about combat and equipment, the relic system needs to be made. That's not entirely true. It's only half built. A relic is an item that modifies your stats and is lost at the end of the run. I implemented one relic that trades 50% of your health for a shield increase of twice the amount lost. I have a ton of ideas for relics. Shield times two, but no longer regenerates. 
Credits plus plus. Enemy damage shield times shield three minus fifty percent. Health minus twenty times one hundred percent. Shield damage is one half. Shield damage is zero. Shield damage times two. Shield damage times three. Shield damage times four. Every other shield regenerates by half. Shield is double damage. Sorry, I blacked out for a second there. Anyway, I could read these cards all day, and the longer I stare at them, the more things I'll keep adding to them, so let's wrap this up. I started making some music as a way to decompress and express myself audibly, and you can listen to that on SoundCloud. Link in the description or on my website. Everything is always on my website. Hey, you guys see that Minecraft snapshot stuff? I think I might backport my mods to 1.16.5. I don't know that I want to put my stuff on 1.19.1 if uh, it's going to be like this. Maybe I should try RimWorld again. Oof. You guys see that stuff about Unity? Maybe I should try out Godot. Maybe next game. Thank you very much if you watched this far into the video, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Combat Casino, New Management, Script 1, Take 2.